Hi Pisces, this is a very interesting card read for you today. Um, it's actually very um, beneficial and, and positive, so I hope you enjoy it. And um, thank you for watching. I'm sorry this video is coming so late. I have actually moved in the last five to six weeks from Prescott, Arizona to right outside of Asheville, North Carolina and with a little jaunt into Florida for my granddaughter's wedding. And so my timing is, has not been the best and I apologize for this being late. I hope you've all had a wonderful month. Well, this, this month in June, what's really affecting all of us um, still is what's been affecting us for the last two weeks. And that is that air, or I'm sorry, Mars, the planet of action, the planet of business, the planet of war, the planet of movement, forward movement, um, has been in the house ruled by Aries. Now, Aries is all about new beginnings, moving forward, uh, you know, once again, bursting forth. And to exacerbate all of that, it has been, Mars has been conjunct or next to the planet Jupiter. So Jupiter is all about expansion and new adventures and moving forward. So we have all been feeling the urge to just cut loose and go do new things. And in the springtime, of course, you know, it's a good idea to do that. However, we've been a little bit dampened by Mercury being retrograde. And actually Mercury had a pretty big retrograde um, timing this time. And today, June 4th, Mercury is stationing direct. Now, stationing direct actually means that Mercury is um, slowing down and stopping in order to move direct. So my suggestion is don't jump into anything yet. Wait until around the 9th or 10th of June. Things will loosen up and you will be able to move forward with grace and ease at that point. So that's what I suggest. And for you, Pisces, the first card that I pulled for you fits right in with you because it is the moon card. Uh, the moon, or I'm sorry, the high priestess. The high priestess is, is a water card. I mean, she is in touch with emotions, with physical well-being, with um, intuition, and with the powers that rule the universe. So it's all about being in a space where you trust your intuition, Pisces. And usually Pisces have some pretty deep intuitive um, talents. So trust what you're hearing internally. Trust your internal guidance. The surprise or challenge card is for you to step out. You already have everything you need to step out and step forward. Now, sometimes Pisces like to kind of hold back. They don't want to make that decision and move forward because what if they're wrong or I'm not exactly sure, but they tend to just hold back. So this is not a time for you to hold back. Once you start to go forward, keep that momentum going. And the process card to move through the month is the Four of Pentacles. Pentacles is an earth card. It's about grounding. And four is about well-being. This card is telling you you are in a good place financially and with everything around you, your home and everything else to move forward. So just know that you have solid grounding below you in order to move forward and take some chances. And the most likely outcome card is the Wheel of Fortune. Falling in this position, that's very, very, very beneficial. You know, the Wheel of Fortune is all about you have a chance to really move forward, but if you never spin the wheel, how will you know? So this month, Pisces, spin the wheel. And I hope that was helpful for all of you Pisceans out there. Have a wonderful, wonderful June, and I will see you at the end of the month. Thanks for watching.